Hi everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! It's Lorena Kazawa here and today we're going to be getting into some VTuber newsy news! And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my sub channels where I'll be posting gameplay, funny clips, and cooking videos. All right, on to our first piece of news. This is on the Kurosanji subreddit. This is posted by Proud Ideal 2606. It says NBA merch not available internationally without a proxy. Um, if you remember, Niji Sanji had a quote unquote NBA collab. Um, however, it was just Rakuten who held a license for Japan to produce merch. Here's the tweet from Niji Sanji EN. It says NBA Niji Sanji first round sales start. So we have the online form for Eastern, Western, and supporting goods. Sales will end on July 10th. Uh, don't miss out. Okay. So then uh, Niji Fan says, To international fans who want to order, I found some helpful guides. He in Rakuten's Global Express. Personally, I've never ordered from it, but friends did hope this helps. This person says, Hold on. You make a collaboration with an American brand and your international branch, but none of the websites have EN options, plus the merch can't even be shipped out of Japan. Uh, this person makes a very good point. This is like, this is the, the collection. This is the NBA Rakuten collection. Okay, and these are the goods that they have and the, the t-shirts and hoodies and stuffies and all that stuff, okay? So here on the Rakuten website, it says, can this service be used outside of Japan? This service is only available in Japan. We do not accept orders from outside Japan. We cannot ship outside of Japan. So my question to the internet, who is this for? Who is this for? It is the NBA, which is a, an American basketball association. Technically, they have the Toronto Raptors. Go Raptors. They use the EN talent, but they are not selling to Niji Sanji EN fans or to North American NBA fans, both of which are the primary audience of this collaboration. And they're essentially advertising it to the JP audience. So like the, the crossover just isn't there. This collab was not fully thought through in my opinion. It's just a little bit odd. Who is this for? Who is this for? Let's take a look at what some of the people on Reddit got to say. This person says, I'm honestly confused why they would use Niji Sanji EN and the EN people to have purchased via proxy. If they were going to do Japan only, they should have used Japan talents. This makes a very good, very good point. Wait, does internationally include the United States? Hold on. Oh my holy effing Lawler skates. It's true. The purchasing site is only in Japanese and orders are restricted to Japan only. I was wondering how they actually got this collab. It turns out they managed it not by paying a cent for sales rights in the United States proper. And here it says, I thought it was made clear by some sites that Niji Sanji is actually collabing with Rakuten, not the NBA. Rakuten has the rights to sell NBA items in Japan, which is why NBA was promoted. It's a, it's a collab by technicality only. And then here it says, why even promote EN at all if you can't buy outside of Japan? They hype this collab up to be something huge for EN just for it to not be available to their target audience. Another another L for Niji Sanji. What the heck was this collab? What a waste. This is ridiculous. All right. On to our next piece of newsy news. Um, this is on the Kuro Sanji subreddit. This is posted by Own Bonus. It says, Doki's booth will add extra security. Okay, this is this is Doki's Twitter slash X account. It says, check your emails if you apply for the Anime Expo Doki panels. You might have won a chance to attend the three events. We will also have extra security at the booth with my staff team attending and supervising just to make sure everybody will be safe and enjoy their time. So if you remember Anime Expo, this is the map. Um, here you'll see Height and Doki at this booth, at this giant booth. And then here, right across the alley, we have here Niji Sanji, so at E70 and E65. So they are right beside each other. Super awkward. So the height booth will have extra security, which is great because Doki cares about her fans, which is fantastic. So now that you kind of have the context of that, let's keep reading this. It says Doki's booth will add extra security. Perhaps due to recent events and those crazy Niji sisters on Twitter that have Doki announcing they'll be beefing up security to ensure safety of participants. I don't think real Niji fans would do anything stupid they may be frustrated, but anyone with more than one brain cell would know not to take out, not to take it out on Doki and her fans. 
but I still think this is unnecessary. Some irrational people, aka those Neji sisters, might cause some trouble to create the illusion that Doki's fans are harassing slash attacking people. So, so extra security will be there at AX at Doki's booth. So rest assured, everyone is going to be safe and have a great time. Okay, excellent, fantastic. On to our next piece of newsy news here. This is posted on the virtual YouTuber subreddit, and this is posted by Benigmita. Any color released a screenshot of their brand new 3D studio. Note, this image might not be the final product. If I'm gonna look at this, new studio, I love how new studio is in, is in quotations. New studio. Relocation in progress and recruitment in progress. Along with sharing past memories, he will introduce the new studio, which is three times larger in area. Some information is available for the first time. Okay. So I don't know about you guys, but what I'm seeing is a 3D rendered picture. Of course, we got the we got the checkerboard, of course, but like I don't see how the checkerboard is actually good for for producing. Like usually like things are green screen, blue screen. I just I don't see a, a checkerboard floor being super helpful when it comes to that. Like I mean, aesthetically it makes sense with their brand, but I just don't I just don't see it as being something super helpful. Anyways, maybe I'm just crazy. All right, let's see what the good people on Reddit got to say. It looks like a 3D render. Okay, good. It's not just me. Those trusses look like they just took the 3D model and slapped color onto it with no surface texture. Edit. Oh, the trusses don't cast any shadow either. I can make this in Blender in 10 minutes. <laughs> the more I look at it, the worse it gets. So this is a 3D proof of concept rather than an actual studio. I may be wrong here, but shouldn't a mocap studio have uniform colors and not a checkerboard pattern? Right, exactly what I said. Yeah, yeah. This is rendering of what it might look like. You know, like every garbage CG press release of vaporware product that never makes it to market. They need to show a real studio to prove they got something beyond an empty promise. That's true. It's more like a I believe it when I see it situation. Show me an actual picture. Show me an actual picture and, and then it'll make sense. Underneath... Underneath this tweet of the quote unquote new studio, they also, guys, if you want to work for them, they'll gladly accept you. Any color says Studio Club, if you're interested in working for us, please check the details on the page and apply. They're looking for a 3D motion director, a broadcasting recording studio engineer, and a 3D motion assistant. Okay, let's see how much they're paying. Better be more than seven dollars. They're not they're not showing the money. Anytime they don't show the money, that's also super sus as well. Yeah, if you're in Japan and you'd like to get exploited, feel free to apply to these postings. To the fake studio. Until I see actual pictures, I'm just going to proceed with caution. All right. Anyways, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is on the Kurosanji subreddit posted by Writing and Doodles. Has Rosemi removed the Niji members tab off her channel and kept only the clippers? So, um, so, so the, for the people who don't really understand what this is, for example, this is the Lydia Nekozawa YouTube channel. But as you can see here, Lydia Nekozawa has some other channels that she recommends. The Lydia VTuber Plays, Lydia Nekozawa Clips, and Lydia Nekozawa Cooks. So some YouTubers use this to display their other channels. Some YouTubers use this to display their friends. And uh, so essentially you're like, hey, like I'm giving, I'm giving this a shout out. Okay, so just so you understand kind of what that is what that looks like, right? So for Rosemi, she was putting her, her buddies. If we go back in time, you may not remember, but Pepperidge Farm remembers and the Wayback Machine remembers. So this was a month ago. If you look at Rosemi's YouTube channel. So these are this is everyone that she had in the recommended spots. She had uh, Alira, Pandora, Pomu Rainpuff. You know, these are all Niji Sanji people, right? So see here, like in the brackets, it says Niji Sanji, Niji Sanji. All these are our fellow Niji Sanji peeps. However, if you go to her channel present day, the only people here are the Clippers. There is no mention of Niji Sanji peeps at all. They've all been removed from here. So why? Let's take a look at this. So um, so it says, has Rosami removed the Niji Sanji members off her channel and kept only the Clippers? It looks like that has that is so. All right, let's see if the if people on Reddit have an explanation as to what happened. Um, okay. This person says, I remember people using Finna's page to unsubscribe to Niji EN livers because she had all the Niji EN talents on the channel page. It was the fastest way to unsub from every Niji EN talent for a while. Well, I mean, I guess that's convenient. And here it says, Rosemi used to have the Niji Sanji EN on her page. Though this could still be a whoopsie, it doesn't mean anything. 
I mean, I don't think that's a whoopsie. You have to manually go in and do that, but okay. Uh, is it a coincidence? Is this something that is really nothing at all? Who knows really? But it does seem a little bit odd that like you literally have to like remove all these people one by one to to change it. So it seems a little, I mean, obviously this is speculation. We don't know anything for a fact, but it's also a little bit odd. So, I mean, wear a tinfoil hat here, friends, and just be like, this is odd. Anyways, so just wanted to point that out to you. Not that it means anything, but it's also interesting. Okay, on to our next piece of newsy news. We have Yuzuki Roa. So Yuzuki Roa is a female Japanese uh, virtual YouTuber affiliated with Niji Sanji. However, there's something you got to know about Yuzuki, okay? Let's go scroll down to the history part of, of Yuzuki, okay? So in the history, okay, so she debuted in 2019. And uh, in 2020, uh, she, she debuted her 3D model. October 21st, 2020, she went on a self-imposed hiatus. Okay, just going to look at the clock here. Right now, it is the year is 2024. So she went on a self-hiatus four years ago. Okay. In 2021, Roa returned to her Twitter account mentioning about taking legal action against defamation. No specific details were given. As these issues take a long time, she was advised not to talk about this prior to it and thanked everyone for waiting for her. Roa didn't mention a date for her return. So this person essentially has been on hiatus for four years. For four years. This Niji Sanji talent has been on hiatus for four years. Now that you know this, this is posted on the Kudo Sanji subreddit and this is posted by Jay Daniello. It says, bruh, Niji Sanji literally grave robbing right now. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. This is a screenshot of Twitter slash X and it says birthday goods and voice sales decided. Birthday goods and voice 2024 to celebrate the birthday of who? Ryoa Yuzuki. It will be on sale at the Niji Sanji official store on 18 o'clock Thursday, July 4th. Okay, so this person... This person who has not streamed in four years is suddenly releasing birthday goods and a voice pack. What? How is this possible? Did the person come back? Who knows? Let's see what the people on Reddit got to say. What the F? That's fair. I know Roa technically hasn't graduated or been terminated and the character belongs to them, but selling merch for a streamer that never, that never streamed and have pretty much pulled out of the company for what, three years now? That's shameful, unethical even. Who is the target audience? I mean, that's fair. That's a fair question. I don't think her, quote, fans would be happy the company is still selling leftover merch of their Oshi that have long been abandoned. Here this says, the experience of successfully silencing King Yokuza Mir Miro during her dispute with Roa made today's any color. They repeated same tactics for years inside and outside Japan and found out it doesn't work against Selen. I'm confident they will do it again in the future against other livers. Bro, the replies on the tweet are, an, are just Indian bots for some reason. What? Okay, this is just a screen capture of the last time uh, she streamed, which was three years ago. So it's a little bit odd. It's a little bit weird um, that they're still selling voice backs and birthday merch of someone who is not streaming anymore. Anyways, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is another piece of Doki news. It says Noms at AX. Join Noms booth number 520 and Doki Bird at Anime Expo next week for a special event supporting Food Banks Canada. Woo! Uh, support our cause to fight hunger. Every contribution allows you to plant, stick, a tomato sticker onto Doki's tomato farm. Let's fill it up. That's so cute. Oh, that's so sweet. So that is very cute. Very nice. And uh, I, I love I love her little tomato. This is, I feel like everyone loves. Who, who doesn't love a tomato? Fantastic. Maybe as an Italian, I resonate with the tomato. But it's very cute. This is super nice. Always giving back. Doki has such a big heart and it's incredible. On to our next piece of newsy news. So we're going to be talking about Chisaka Airi. So Chisaka Airi is a female English virtual YouTuber and member of Phase Connect's second generation Phase Alias. So why are we talking about uh, Chisaka? Well, this is posted on the virtual YouTuber subreddit and this is posted by Danganronpa05. It says, Phase announced talent Airi Chisaka is on a two week rest after an incident occurred. So this is the tweet here. And this is from Phase Connect official on Twitter slash X. It says, announcement, due to a sudden incident Ari Chisaka's streams for the next two weeks will be postponed. This includes the 50k celebration. 
Please wish her a speedy recovery and await her return. So let's read what some of the people on Reddit are saying. Xenomorph says, was scary news to wake up to. Lucky Sheena has confirmed she has spoken to her and she is okay. Hopefully Aerie can recover well. Hopefully this is nothing serious. So we don't know exactly what happened, but she is on a two week uh, rest and hopefully uh, she'll be okay. And we're sending her healing vibes and wishing her good health. Okay, so that is what's happened to Ari Chisaka. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. Okay. So this is the VTuber we're going to be talking about. This is Koinuko. Okay, so Koinuko has an announcement here. Indefinite hiatus slash graduation announcement. Thank you guys for being with me for the past five years. Words can't explain how thankful I am to each and every one of you, new and old. I will be ceasing all activities and my final stream will be on July 25th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So here's the actual statement itself. Infinite hiatus announcement. Hello, my gooniest of goons. Never in my like two years of VTubing. As the stupid brown dog, did I ever think I'd be making one of these white background black text announcements? But never say never, am I right? It's with a heavy heart that I announced I will be ending all streaming activities indefinitely after July 25th, 2024. After July 25th, you may see me slightly active on social media and in my Discord server. However, I will be ceasing all streaming activities and no longer uploading content onto either of my channels. This decision has been brewing in my mind for a while now as I want to go forward with my career, exploring bigger opportunities that I've always dreamed of being a part of. I will never forget the time I spent with you all as uh, Koi Nuko, all of the accounts we've been through together and all the fun moments we've shared. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be the special dog I am today. As previously mentioned, my Discord server will remain up. I've made this decision after seeing the friendships and connections my viewers have made with each other, and I cannot bear taking that away from them. All my socials will remain up as well, with my only YouTube and Twitch ceasing all upload slash streaming activity. As you may have already seen, some of my merch will be taken down after my hiatus. The only merch that will remain standing until further notice is my Uwu Market merch, the Waifu Buddies plushie, and my cuddly octopus, Dakimakura. As always, I love you guys very much. I really and truly won't be where I am without your help, your love, and your endless support. Thank you for all that you do. I will make you guys proud. Oh, and if you can, come find me in the stars, yeah? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Um, I mean, it's always sad. It's always sad to see, um, to see a VTuber graduate. But uh, hopefully they're on to a bigger and brighter future and we're wishing them all the best. So good luck. Good luck in your future endeavors. And uh, I hope that uh, I hope that life treats you well. On to our last piece of newsy news. This is this is not really anything serious, but I like to end off on a happy note. So this is posted on the Kurosanji subreddit and this is posted by Dispair2. It says Vivid Vision and her baby are cosplaying Doki and Tomato for AX. Look how cute this cosplay is. Look how cute it is. <laughs> Anyways, I love it so much. Ah, oh, it's like, man, cosplay is just the best. It really is. All right, guys, that's it. That's the end of the VTuber Newsy News. If you haven't already, please uh, press like, smash subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. so much for watching the video. Shout out to my patrons that help make these videos possible. If you want to help support the channel, you can always join my Patreon, subscribe to me on Twitch, or become a member on YouTube. I also have links to merch in the description below. As always, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!